Unity is a game engine that works on multiple platforms. Unity is a great way to build both 2D and 3D experiences, and we have created a Unity package for Project Tango on Android. My name is Nikolai, and in this video, I will show you how hard, well, actually, how easy it is to integrate motion tracking in Unity. Project Tango packages a set of new computer vision enabled features for mobile devices. It takes the sensor readings from multiple sensors and fuses them together on the fly. Based on that description, you might think that it's going to be a lot of work to integrate. If you are new to Unity, check out the developer videos and download the Unity development environment. It's pretty big, so you might want to do that now. To use this new package, you need Unity, the Project Tango SDK, and a Project Tango enabled device. Let's get started. Hi, Jared. Do you mind helping us out? Hi, Nikolai. Of course. Let's do this. To save some time, let's start with a project that I've already built in Unity. This project does not use Project Tango, and we will add motion tracking to it. Currently, I can use the keyboard and mouse to move the camera around, and I want to change that to use Project Tango. To work with Unity and Project Tango, you need the most up-to-date Unity package from the developer website. If you don't already have that, go ahead and get it now. With Unity set up and updated, I'm going to import the latest Unity package right into my project now. Now that the Project Tango SDK is part of my project, I need to place the Tango Manager prefab. You'll find this prefab, along with other Project Tango prefabs, in the Tango Prefabs folder at the root of your project. Let's place it. In the Tango Manager prefab, you're going to choose how to use Project Tango in your scene. I want to use motion tracking, so I need to check Enable Motion Tracking. You can enable other options here for using other parts of Project Tango, such as Enable Depth for depth sensing and the UX library for displaying the initial connection. You can check out the documentation linked at the end to learn more. OK, that's it for configuring. Now, let's replace the current camera with one controlled by Project Tango. We will use the Tango Delta Camera prefab. I'll place that prefab in my scene at the same position as the existing camera. And then I have to disable the existing camera. This camera is called a delta camera because it calculates the change of position and rotation for the device. The camera follows the motion of the device precisely, but of course, we don't want anyone walking through walls. So it uses the Unity character controller to keep everybody safe. And as an added benefit, this makes it easy to replace cameras in existing games with the Delta camera. Of course, your own game may not fit into the default shoebox, which is why you can customize the Tango Delta camera. For example, it is straightforward to change the camera view to a top-down or third-person view. Select the multi-camera child, and change the mode here to third person or top down. But let's stick with first person for now. By default, this prefab shows a motion trail. I can hide the trail of where I've been by disabling this trail child. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. It's a cleaner look. Finally, let's get this running on my tablet. In order to build and run this project on my tablet, I have to build it on Android. So I go to the build settings. I'm already set up for Android. So now I'll build and run it on my device. It's all done. Let's try it out. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Jared. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward to integrate motion tracking with your experience to control the camera perspective. In addition to controlling the camera, you can use motion tracking to directly control your avatars. 
Watch the user experience videos to learn how to take full advantage of motion tracking, avoid the pitfalls, and create stunning motion-enabled experiences. And don't forget to visit our Google Plus community and join us on our journey. We are excited to see what you will build with Project Tango.